Hi guys and welcome to this channel. Today I got a very exciting app. It's called AnyTrans and it helps you to back up your device and manage the content on your iPhone. Now why is this particular app interesting? Because it has lots of lots of features that will help you. And let me show you a few of them just now. So basically you have here everything, your device information and if you click on this you will see here everything about your device that you need to know furthermore you have the audio photo books and whatnot so you have the, all the space that's been used or free on your phone and you can see how much even your ios is taking up on your device now we got some great icons here this is content to itunes content to mac Content to device, add content if you want to add some specifics, clone your device, you can clone your phone to your uh, desktop or something, and merge device, which I will demonstrate a bit later, you can merge two iOS devices and even choose what to merge from those. Next down here in this section, we have some tabs or buttons that we can manage uh, our content with them so basically if I click here uh, I don't know let's see something simple so file system you can see system and storage so if I click on this I can see this bit which is interesting all right bear in mind I'm in uh, uh, iOS 8.1.2 which is still jailbreakable and it's not patched for uh, browsing the system files like in iOS 8.3 so just bear that in mind while I'm showing you this. We have the general storage here. Not sure if something will show up or not. But you had the system files there, so that was good. We have books. You can browse your books, which actually you have. So I'm interested in these and the iPhone guide. Right? We have the apps. You can view all your apps. Now you're asking me, okay, why I'm telling you this? Because uh, some of this is also available in iTunes, right? but the extra features that you will see are definitely worth the price of this app so basically you can uh, see here everything of safari bookmarks for example you can handle the safari bookmarks you can delete you can add you can do whatever with these so add delete transfer them send it to the mac send it to your device so if you're copying back and forth things this is awesome you have your history, you can view your history from your phone. So if you're a bit lazy and you don't want to send it to your uh, device back and forth, you can just copy it from here. So it, maybe it will take a bit of time. Uh, I'm not going to wait for that. So uh, go and check it out. Uh, we have uh, photos, so not much photos here. Photo stream, camera roll. Uh, I'm not going to show you my photos. Let's see some panoramic pictures maybe. I can show you those, right? So it, it looks like this, you can obviously copy it from your phone or to your Mac, whatever you want. We have albums, bursts and whatnot. So lots of lots of cool features. You have some audio here, like music, ringtones, voice memos. You can add, delete voice memos and whatnot. It's so real easy, uh, great, great features. And you can copy back and forth everything with these right so just just decide whatever you want to do and you can uh, do the features uh, right away and you have here the iTunes library which you can also uh, play with so you have uh, some music maybe you have podcasts some uh, audiobooks and whatnot voice memos which I have right here and the apps that you saw earlier so these are the apps that I actually own and then coming back to this, let's see, uh, we have this clone device feature and you can, uh, you need to uh, plug in two devices and you can clone a device to another device and then uh, uh, do the merge device. All right, so in the upcoming uh, few minutes, I will show you how to uh, merge the device and choose whatever you want to uh, pick. But before doing that, Let's see some uh, more features like you can browse your backups. So if you did some backups on your computer 
you will be able to browse those and handpick everything you need to keep or everything that you need to delete. And what I mean by that, for example, if I browse this and I want to explore the content of my backup from my iTunes. That's right, so if you backed up with iTunes, you can browse it with this app and handpick everything that you want to delete, right? Sounds easy? It sure is. Let's see, so if I have things like that and uh, I don't know, um, um, all sorts of things that I can uh, delete from here. So I can handpick my pictures, for example. If I go down somewhere to the pictures folder, I'm not going to waste some time with that, but uh, you can uh, search for those. You just be careful uh, what you delete from this. You can browse it again. Uh, it doesn't count how many of these you have. Just scroll down, pick a folder, have at it, so things like that. Go inside and delete whatever you need. <clears throat> I will show you how to browse the iCloud. I will pause a bit of video so I can log in safely. All right, and after I logged into iCloud, I can see these three backups right here. And same with the other backup from my computer, I can actually browse what I can keep and what not. So if you have some app backups, I can delete those. I have the camera roll here. I can delete that, right? So I have phone data and whatnot. I have also some pictures. I have three pictures right here. So you cannot actually see them right now. But if you download them, you can see them on your computer and decide what to keep and what to delete. All you need to do is select your target device and next, what you need to do is pick what you exactly want to transfer to that device and thus everything will be merged into one whole backup. Hope you like this tutorial. Also guys, if you like my videos, make sure you check out my other videos I made on this channel. And if you really like what I'm doing and you want to stay up to date with everything I do, just hit the subscribe button and you will get notified of the latest updates.